My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire for the Daily Challenge for the 13th of June 2020. The characters are silent, and it's a cursed run with blue cards as well as the deadly events. So we're going to be going to every question mark so we can try and find as many curses for cursed run as possible. But if we don't find those, hey, we might find elites or uh, treasure rooms. It's going to be a good time. The blue cards, I don't know how they're really going to uh, interact in the deck. We'll see, we'll see. Three elite path with four question marks. Yeah, that's definitely the best path that we can take. Having the extra energy from the Cursed Key makes it really easy for us to take stuff like this. We don't really have to worry that much at all. Uh, that's fine. Great. Somebody be looking for shivs as a way to deal the... Ooh, we're actually going to take some damage here. Weird. Uh, I'm going to be looking for shivs as a way to deal the damage here, but I'm also going to be looking for Riddle with Holes. Uh, chill, Hologram, Acrobatics. Chill is a lot of defense on a single turn against a bunch of enemies. But I think Acrobatics is also, e like, way better. Ooh, I think of the curse. Oh, and the treasure rooms also give us curses. Great. I should have just used the... Yeah, I should have let Clumsy burn out by using the Spiver instead. It's not going to matter at all, but still. Rid of the Holes is the other thing I was going to mention. Uh, the Acrobatics are in particular good because they will allow us to just push down the Curses. We're going to be picking up a lot of those. Speaking of, let's get another. We can just discard every Curse. It'll be fine. And also, with these Acrobatics... Our boss choices become a little bit better because we could pick up now the... Uh, one sec, when I find... Eh, I'm not going to be able to find enough defense, right? Actually, no, I can. It's just I have to use the survivor. Uh, it'll give us the ability to take the kite, which is whenever you, the first time you discard a card in your turn, you gain an extra energy. Coming potion, nice. This well is a really good way to try and keep our perfects. I'm going to burn the Piercing Whale. I'm just looking for aggression here. It's really annoying because we don't really have much in the deck, so... We might need to use something like the, the Shiv pluses to round out the fight. And then it's time for the Shiv Pluses. Nice. Claw. We do have a lot of draw in this deck. That Claw isn't awful because of that, but it's still not great. Take a Hologram for pulling back the right card at the right time. Hopefully that's impactful enough. We're going to have to go for the Neutralize here. So it's basically just off of the two strengths we're going to be fighting Elites at the moment. Not a big fan. I'm going to neutralize, hologram, neutralize. Keep the enemy weak for the first three turns of the combat there. One, two, three. Okay, we're not going to be perfecting this fight, so just go all out. <sighs> Dang early elites, I really want some more damage. I'm not going to try and rely on the draw there. Yeah. Okay, we should be able to kill in these next two turns. Yeah, we've got it. Cool. Gosh. Rough fight. Let's take another piercing well there. Uh, Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. is a great pickup for us right there. We'll take a pain as well as a meat on the bone. We, we can't really consider whether or not the pain is going to be a problem for us. We just have to take the damage to it pretty consistently here, it looks like. Let's upgrade the acrobatics so we can draw back to our aggressive cards. Not that we have many of those in the deck at the moment. Come on. I've seen so many card choices and almost none of them have actually been good. Oof. 
Just need to find more damage. I actually can't even kill this turn. Even if I use the liquid memories to bring it back. Ouch. We have way too much maximum HP. All for one. We don't have many cards that support that yet, but now we should take them. I wasn't really going to go for paupers at all. But this just kind of cements it for us. And that'll do it. Use the awful one to round out the fight, of course. Self-repair, cool-headed, static discharge. Um... These fights should be faster than the cool-headed is. What cards do I even want to upgrade at this point? Like the uh, the acrobatics, I guess. Wait, no, no. There we go. Found it at the very end. Sneko Skull and Normality. Normality is a bit of a problem, but it could be mitigated with our... Uh, it could end up being mitigated with our access to uh, the Acrobatics discards. Neutralize, all for neutralize. I don't know if this is going to work. I, I'm... Oh, there's the piercing one. Never mind, we're fine. Okay, we might end up perfecting this fight. We have a lot of draw and discard, so we should be able to get past these burns pretty happily. One, two, defend. Wish I could play it. Let's go for the draw first. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Just wanted to be able to defend with a single card, not using the Piercing Whale there, because Piercing Whale still has a lot, lot of use left. So we're pulling back and neutralize. It's good enough. I couldn't play the Acrobatics first, otherwise my discard pile would have been different. Okay. I mean, if we can just keep you weak permanently, we might end up using the Fire Potion to finish you off. Get rid of the normality. Piercing well, double strike. Good. Ah, it looks like I have to double defend here. You know what? No. I mean, use the energy pot that turn. <clears throat> it looks like we might have needed to. And then the fire pot this turn in order to make sure we take no damage. We perfect that fight. Grand finale, wraith form, machine learning. We actually have like a surprising amount of defense in this deck to the point that we don't probably need that wraith form. It's also very expensive to play. And we have a lot of draws, so drawing into it and then being able to play it is not guaranteed. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take none of those. Ooh. So that's an extra curse, but this is also all attacks that cost zero deal for additional damage, and I'm about to put a lot of those in my deck. That's the goal here, at least. Shivs are even things that just naturally cost zero. Uh, okay. There's a two elite path, but it's way worse than the one elite path. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. A, uh, early shop, a late shop, two rests, one before and one after the same elite. No, you know what? I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to go for the two elites. I think I need to see more cards here. Going for the elites is a way to accomplish that. All for one, neutralize. Hologram, all for one, neutralize. 
I'll take two damage that turn in order to play all of that. Pretty happily, actually. Fine. It's a zero cost attack. Lantern, extra energy on turn one. <clears throat> Bad opening hand right there. We got three curses, and we have three curses still left in the deck. Okay, so it's kind of kind of fair that I got three curses in the opening hand, but it's still not it's still not okay. Just gonna pull back and defend and play that. Oh, uh, acrobat. There we go. Good. Go for the eyes is another way to do that. Also applies weaken. Also, it was pre-upgraded. The FTL is not a consideration there, but the beam cell could have been a consideration. I hope I see another beam cell later, though. One that I feel more comfortable taking. Okay, one point of plated armor off of you as well. Only two damage taken. We've gotten past the majority of our annoying curses. Dang. I was really hoping I was about to get the all for one because that actually would have gotten us to kill that turn. Not that it's necessary because... We'll just immediately get the kill now. None of those. Do I want rests? Or are, we uh, are rests just wasted spaces for us right now? They're kind of wasted spaces. <clears throat> Go for the eyes, neutralize. All for one. Go for the eyes, neutralize. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to return the all for one for zero cost. Go for the eyes, neutralize again, and then kill you. Slice. Letter opener is uh, every time you play five skill, uh, three skills rather in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Neat pickup, especially before the gremlin leader fight. I'm playing very quickly right now. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. It's uh, absurdly quick, even. I'm liking it, though. Should have played a defend at the very end for five damage. I'm going to acrobatics pass this into Malady. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. We might get that Gremlin leader down in time now. God, that piercing whale is so overperforming. Throwing these two, then I'm going to use the claw here just to try and draw into lethal or defend. Defend, great. Because the defend gives me the ability to just get 25 more in the score. And a potion for 25, it's pretty good. <clears throat> Centennial puzzle, as well as reinforced body, electrodynamics, and setup. Uh, I could take a single reinforced body. Ay, yikes. One, two, three. Just got that. And then all for one. Missing out on all for one, actually pulling anything back is really rough for us. Although we still do have. The ability to bring it back. That's what the hologram is here for. How dare you? Gremlin Horn just drew is the normality at the worst point in time. Yeah, it's fine. It happens. Poison Potion as well as Hologram Auto Shields Reprogram. Reprogram is just incredible. We're not going to be using any orbs, so Reprogram is just a good power for us. Good power up for us, rather. It's not a power card. I'm going to Acrobatics pass that normality. For all for one. I'm happy to take that damage to the pain just to get the enemy lower. Especially considering none of the rest of the cards in my deck are actually good for combating it at the moment. 
Pull back a zero cost that scaled. Ghost in a jar, nice. Masterful Stab is a little bit of a problem just because of the pains that we have in the deck and we're likely to get more, so I can't take it. <clears throat> Bag of Marbles at the start of each combat apply vulnerability to all enemies. Huge fan of that. Damn normality. Rid of shame. Bring back the all for one and then damage. It's some damage, it's not all of the damage. I should have played that first. Would have gotten one more point of damage out there. Not that it matters at all, but it could at some other point remove all block from the enemy. Uh, deal seven damage, draw three cards, discard any cards drawn this way that do not cost zero. It's pretty good for what we are aiming towards. It's bad in the deck at the moment, but it will eventually be good in the deck. And quickly, acrobatics. I mean, that's a turn one kill. It's a pretty powerful deck. Nice! Blue Candle on playable curse cards can now be played whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. Yeah, choke on the same turn as the other one isn't going to happen. But that's really good because it gives me the ability to burn out curses that otherwise would be problematic in the hands they generate in. Okay. This is a very, very fast play. As in, everything I'm doing at the moment is, is very quickly played. I think it's probably correct. I haven't noticed any big mistakes. I've noticed like a couple normal procedural mistakes, but that just happens all the time. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, we're about to go to a rest space. I'll upgrade it. Let's also go for an upgrade on the... Scrape. Nothing I do that turn would have affected anything. Okay. I'm really happy to have the blue candle and the centennial puzzle because it just gives us three draw the first time we get to our curse, which is actually really good. Sudden three draw out of nowhere is great, in fact. Yeah, acrobatics is important enough that I'll happily take another one. Let's get the scrape upgrade for the extra card reached. I do pretty much just have to burn those curses out there. Wonder if I should have used the opportunity there to weaken the enemy. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll end up weakening the enemy when we get the all for one that just got stolen from us. It's fine. We don't have that much damage that we have to deal in order to kill the orb in the front line. One. Two, we got the kill, and in fact, we got the kill with things that ended up getting all for ones for us. Um, let's go. All for one on you. Definitely weaken the bronze automaton. That's what I was debating before. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get to go past the normality there. Fine, we're not getting back to the next cycle of the deck, so we don't need to take normality anymore. Great. 
yeah, this deck is fast enough to not worry about... Uh, to not worry about having to fight the slow... I'm very glad to see... Oh my god, Glass Knife is such a great pickup right now. <gasps> so much damage and it deals it twice. I'll take a Colorless Potion over the Poison Potion there. The Poison Potion shouldn't really con like, uh, contribute that much. Doubly effective in some potions or elites drop an additional relic when defeated. There are so many elites that I think this is still worthwhile. It could also end up with us getting I like shiny if we... I mean, I guess that it's possible we end up on a line with no shops if we're really prioritizing question marks and elites that way. One, two, three, four, five. Five question marks, two elites, or... One, two, three, four. Two rests, two elites... Two question marks. No, I'm going to go for the more question marks and more elites. Okay. I love it because Rive is just one guaranteed in the opening hand for the blue candle and the centennial puzzle trigger. It's great. I'm never getting back to that discard pile, right? No. I'm also never... Uh, I'm probably not letting the enemy live through this turn. So I was worried about whether or not I also burned the... Ooh, another go for the eyes. Love it. I was worried about whether or not I also should have burnt the uh, the curse that was in my hand there, but if I'm not getting back to the new cycle, it doesn't matter. My god, what a great uh, what a great hand there. Definitely take the beam cell for the vulnerability. Much more important now. Uh, okay. It's fine, we just lost the all for one, but we can bring it back. I don't need the extra draw from the Centennial Puzzle this turn. If any of the top three cards in my deck are zero cost, I'm gonna be sad about it though. Never mind. Actually, way better that we didn't do it that turn. Okay, the more. One, two. Almost certainly kill next turn. Nope. I was kind of assuming I was going to get the acrobatics in hand, which is, it's an optimistic assumption, to be sure, to be sure. I need to play that right now. Flex potion. We just got a lot of cards. We can take the sneaky strike as a free attack. I'm going to take the flex potion. It's going to be so good for just blowing up a boss. Uh, lose a defend happily. Oh, gosh. Hell yeah. Take the draw from the Rive right now, because if it does draw normality, I can still burn it, because that would be my third play of the turn. Hell yes. Love it when a plan works out like that. I'll take back anything for the kill there. Fruit juice. I don't need any more maximum HP. Fine turning that down. Take a second claw there for extra damage, though. Injury first. Ooh, we actually got a decent amount of cards from that. Love it. Is it fixed? Can I do it? Has it been fixed finally? Yeah, it looks like this bug has been fixed. You used to sometimes be able to override the normality with the blue candle. What I'm doing at the moment of just hitting 9 and clicking in the middle of the screen is the fastest way to try it. And it used to be how you would get it to happen because it wouldn't work consistently. So you just want to try and play it a bunch of times. Okay, yeah, it looks like that's actually been fixed finally. Oh, 
Oh god, we even got the hologram back. That's so good. Hologram back the off one, off one. Got him. Shovel, you can dig for relics of rest sites, as well as the top bandages. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, gain three block. Let's take another hologram, actually. Uh, I was also planning on going to both of these question marks rather than a rest. And I still probably do. Yeah, because the chests here give us a curse as well. And the elites here give us two relics. There we are. Thank you for the parasite. That's my 10th curse. Let's hollow back the glass knife and kill. I can take a single equilibrium. Oh, second normality. Here's the annoying thing. I still haven't found a shop. One question mark, two question mark, three question mark, four question mark. I was kind of hoping one of them would be a shop so I don't have to veer out here to a shop late. But I think I have to. I don't need to overdo anything here. Trying to keep the enemy weak and vulnerable. Nice. That'll do. Scrape actually is surprisingly good with the tough bandages because it just discards cards for you. Take the infinite blades for the boss fight. So we're going to go here and dig Ulti Smooth Stone for one dex. Eh, at least we got another elite. It's good enough for me. Yikes. Hopefully I get some zero costs here. I'm going to dig for them. Well, we didn't find zero cost, but we did find... A lot of other cards that contributed towards the kills. That's good enough. Take a flex pot there instead. None of those though. I'm going to have to buy, uh, buy five cards in the shop. I mean, it's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six... All right, there we go. Have enough cards now. Uh, do I need to keep the stuff from the... You know what? I think I do. I'm going to get myself 10 strength on turn one in the boss fight. Let's go for it. It's probably a pretty dumb idea, but I just like the idea of it. Too much to not. I knew that was going to be... Knew that was what we were going to draw there. Skim's fine. And we'll dig for one more relic before the end. <laughs> preserved elite enemies elite combats have... Uh, preserved insect, rather. Enemies elite combats have 25% less HP. Okay. So there is still a normality in the deck that could ruin my day if I draw it. Okay. I'm gonna equilibrium early here because I'm pretty worried. One. Um, 
I just don't want to draw normality. <laughs> Burn the parasite, go for the eyes. Strike. Why must you do this to me, Bottle? Why must you repeatedly bring this into my life? We now lose the Beyond Perfect. To be fair, we were flirting with danger when we dropped the potion. But I kind of hoped that the fight was going to go more like that. How it wrapped up at the very end there. One, two, six, eight. So it would have been one, three, six, eight with the perfect there. We got stuffed. We got encyclopedia. And we got curses. Every run with cursed is going to get stuffed and curses. Um, most good runs with that will also get encyclopedia, so that you can actually weigh out the amount of curses you put into your deck. I like shiny. Yeah, I mean, if you have the deadly events, I like shiny's pretty common as well. So I, I don't imagine this is going to be pretty high in the scores. I imagine third page. Yeah, top of the third page. Uh, had we gotten the extra, we would have been at the bottom of the first page. So if literally if we just didn't draw the normality at that time, we would have been fine. Uh, it happens, though. It happens. And I set myself up in a position where it was possible to have happened. But... For the moment, let me say that my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.